there, but it's not just the tower. We're not actually going there. Where we're going is here to the ABC Cinema. And it opened up in the 60s as the ABC Theatre Blackpool and during the summer it had live shows. And we can see here the very famous chandelier. In fact it's only half a chandelier because that's a mirror behind. Above the reed graph where you see the ABC Cinema sign that was a full poster even, even higher than the window of the summer presentation. But unfortunately quite a few years ago they changed it from a live show venue to a three screen multiplex. Right now we're in front of the screen two and three and we're actually on the famous stage of the ABC Blackpool. And what we're looking at here is the safety curtain. And it's still in working order. And if we look closely, we can see the cable actually lifts the safety curtain up. Oh, this is just truly amazing to be on the stage of the ABC Blackpool. And anyway, behind the stage, they've got an effects projector. And inside that cage is an effects projector that used to shine from the back of the stage onto scenery and the people would see effects from the stage. And when they sat down actually looking at the show, there'd be effects behind the artists on stage. And here's the effects projector. And there's the porthole and the shutter is down. Did not use carbons, it's actually got a xenon lamp inside. Again, I've said it on so many videos, this is history. History that's going to leave us at some stage, I'm afraid. It is a sad loss, you know. Now, I wonder what this is over here. Let's go and have a look. You know, they're very good to allow me to come in, but it's just uh, travel baskets. And there's the stage door to get all the scenery in. And here we have a, a ladder leading up to the ceiling of the building, the roof of the building. Stored neatly away some, it looks like tap tracking. Some old projector stands and slide lantern on its side. And here we see a music stand. And on the floor, two spool boxes from the Ross projector, GC3 projector. Another music stand and a chair that was obviously seen better days. Looking at the stage, intake door again, and a chain to pull manual shutter down, the overhead shutter, you know, the metal shutter. Anyway, let's let's go back and have a look on the stage itself here at the ABC Blackpool. Now here we can actually see an old poster saying coming films and shows, but look at this, it's not a cutout in the floor, there's some FP20 spill boxes, but this was the revolving stage. Ah, just like I say, Cliff Richard's been on here, you know, Engelbert's Humperdinck, Tom Jones. Look at this, Q marks. Would you believe that? I mean, the varnish is gone, but the Q marks are still there. Now, this is interesting because, I mean, if you look here, look, I'm touching the floor of the ABC Blackpool Hollow Turf. But if you look, see, there's a gap. More Q marks. I'm actually touching it. Cliff Richard's been here, Tom Jones, Engelbert, you know. Just sheer amazing. We're actually underneath the stage now. Okay. Actually, 
actually looking up onto the front apron of the stage and they were in where the orchestra pit was and that was where the public were. Oh, wow. And this is the front stalls. Good grief, look at that. That's where the conductor stood, isn't it? He waved his baton from here and there's a little phone. Good grief. Wow. That's fantastic. Oh yeah, oh this is a mic riser isn't it? This is a mic riser we're looking at here. And the motor's down there. Of course, yeah, we've seen these on the London Play Gym. Wow. Excellent. Yeah, I used to lift the mic up. Stage. Was this like a storeroom for uh, for bits and pieces that they use on shows? Oh, look at that! Uh, yeah, Good God! Yeah, I forgot about my yard has been here. Yeah, and look at this, Tommy Steele. Is Tommy Steele ABC Blackpool? Oh, can't throw things like that away, can you? Good grief. We're in a room still underneath the stage, or just off underneath the stage, and they were saying the washing machine there, and you've got MT6000 for spool boxes. It's like in Aladdin's cave, isn't it, Dave? I'll rewind it there and just bits and pieces off old projectors. Right, that's that's right, because you used to scratch on the glass, didn't you? Yeah. No, well, the owner of car number. Oh, excellent. It's just history, Dave, isn't it? You know, it's. Oh, yeah, it's a shame, isn't it, really? Yes. You know, when you think how it used to be. Yes. It's a stage door. Oh, it's a stage door, yeah. Wow. The little man used to sit here and see everybody in. Hmm? Look at those phones. One star dressing room. So would this be where Cliff Richard? Yeah. yeah. So we're actually looking in the mirror, that Cliff, Cella Black, Tom Jones, yeah. Engelbert Tom Pating, Matt Yarwood, Nolans, yeah. you name them, they've all been in this room. Come in Imagine booming out of that speaker, will Cliff Richard now move on stage? you know, or whoever. Phone they probably all had their hands on. In fact, I'm gonna to touch it because they must have all touched this day, mustn't they? You know? <laughs> oh, yes. So we're going up more stairs now to so the dressing rooms. Uh, and the light. Amazing lampshade. I suppose the supporting acts would be in this dressing room. Yeah, That's the number two. And still we go up and we've got another dressing room. A smaller one. Ah! We're in number three dressing room now. And, and that's, that's how big this little dressing room is. Of course it's on suite. Yeah. What's the dimmer board for? Yeah, All right. You can look at another street. Back on stage. Back to where you went oh, right, yeah. Again, you can just almost see the artists coming through that door and onto the stage. And this is the full width of the stage. Look at this. You wonder if there's any ghosts back here, Dave, you know? Pardon? You wonder if there's any ghosts ever back here? Yeah, there's one or two shadows. Really? Yeah. And we've had the come down and lights are on what weren't on last time you couldn't get me. No. Especially down at bottom where you went. 
Oh, thanks, Dave. I'm glad you told me now. I mean, look at the size of this stage. It's unbelievable. Wow. We're looking at some old stage rope here. Now we're looking at an ABC Blackpool colouring up chart. So I suppose they've all these represented what patterns were above, so you knew what colours and what dimmer represented what colour. There was a lot of dimmers here, wasn't there? A lot of dimmers. Dimmer board upstairs, they, they actually built it in projection room because they couldn't get it up or something. So yeah. they said to get it out, they'd have to dismantle it. You know? Oh no! That's why they left it there. Yeah. Some brackets on the wall for tying things to, I suppose. Again, we see some old projector spares. We're looking at an old Philips <coughs> Omar amplifier. Now what we can see there, tables and seats, these all came out of the ABC Lime Street when that closed. ABC still use Blackpool for their sort of dumping ground. You know, like just put things on the stage, at least they know where they are. Oh, oh right. Before they open that multiplex. Yes, that's doing well isn't it? Is it? I think so. Yeah. Looks a nice one from the pictures I've seen. It was some height the stage. Right, what we're looking at here is one of the stage speakers from when in the non-summer months they used to show films here and they actually built a screen and this was the speaker that stood on the backstage. <coughs> we're now in just room 12. And you can see by the ceiling the way it's just gone into this repair. Again, you consider what people have been in here, and it's you know, it's very, very sad. But then, I suppose the heating's been turned off down here, so there'd be no burst pipes or anything, and it just goes. Quite a long, narrow dressing room, this one. We have a shower, very narrow shower, um, we have now, now there's an interesting note on the wall, in case of emergency, go to number 12 dressing room. Right, and you can see the number 13 dressing room is very, very small. So I suppose this represented a small axe on the stage. We're now in dressing room 14 and this is, it says exactly the same, in case of emergency, go to dressing room number 12, must be an exit way or something. This dress room is a little bit bigger than 13. So I just, I just looking at the stage now. 